Today we're going to be using the Cricut Joy to create 10 projects that you can make in less than 10 minutes. Hi, I'm Crystal with Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the notification bell as well as that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. For today's 10 projects, we are gonna be using the Hilarious Bundle here. So you guys can grab this for $19 and it is worth over $262. Now, if you guys are not familiar with our bundles, they are time sensitive. So as I'm recording this, as you can see, there is only 26 days left. So by the time you see this, it's gonna be even less. So if you guys want this bundle, make sure you snag it. Inside of this bundle, you're gonna be able to accomplish things from signs, t-shirts, coffee mugs, acrylic keychains. You could make baby bibs. You could make um, all sorts of fun stuff from this, wine bags, the list goes on. Even if you're into sublimation, you're gonna be able to do those projects as well. Don't just think that you have to work with a Cricut Joy, but we're gonna be able to accomplish 10 of these projects with that Cricut Joy. Project number one, we're gonna be making a water tracker. So you guys know we're all into fitness. We always do this at the beginning of the year and I really have been getting into it and I've really been enjoying it. I actually did a three mile glow run. It's where we went at night and did the whole, listen, I was a fast walker. I didn't do the run. I'm not ready for that just yet, but we are gearing up for our next one. And I think we're doing a superhero. So it's for kids, um, but we are doing that one next. But I was so excited. I'll have to show you guys my medal in the next video. I didn't bring it with me today. So I'll have to show you, but we are definitely getting into the water trackers. So I wanted to show you guys that you guys can do those. So you, this is, seems like a fairly big project, but if you guys grab the longer Cricut Joy mats, you can get into those longer projects. Also with the Cricut Joy, you guys could get things like the Cricut Smart Materials, which is gonna give you unlimited length. So this project in particular, the width is gonna be perfect, and then we have our length to be able to accomplish it. For this project, we're gonna be using this design right here. I've already hit the weld button because it was in multiple pieces where we could change the colors, but I just wanna do this all one solid piece. Because it is a blue, I have found with bottles like this with the color, the white is going to pop off of it best compared to your colors or your black. So I'm gonna do this in white. So all we simply need to do is figure out our measurement. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little ruler here and get that. I'm thinking about six and a half long and I don't wanna go anything wider than four inches. With your Cricut mat, whether you're using the long one or the smaller one, and you can get those over at the Dollar Tree, the shorter mats, just to be clear, um, but you could do up to four and a half inches, so it's going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and start with that now. Let's go ahead and see what we get with that four inches and see how high it gets us. So I'm gonna change my width to four inches and that is going to give me eight inches high. I know I want it to be much shorter. Now the really cool thing is Cricut recently changed too, where if I wanted to unlock this and just change the height instead of that width, I wanna keep my width, I could actually just drag it now. So I could go ahead and do this until I got to, you know, six and a half or whatever I wanted to do, as long as it was going to keep those portions. So I think I said six and a half, so we're going to get six and a half. So I, it looks like I've still got my proportions here. I may bring it in just a little bit. As long as it doesn't look distorted, you guys can do that. Don't feel like you have to just keep the dimensions of bringing it in from the corner and keeping everything exact. Feel free to kind of play around with that. As long as those proportions are good, you're good to go. Because have you ever been creating a project and you want that four inches, but by the time, because of the height, it's gonna be like two inches. So don't feel like you have to do that. Everything looks good to go or ready to get it out. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the make it button. And I've already chose the Cricut Joy as my cutting machine. I'm gonna choose on the mat and confirm. Now I have already cut out a piece of white adhesive vinyl. I'll have everything I'm using today linked down below. You can usually find these water bottles at your local stores like Walmart and places like that, Dollar Tree, but I will try to link one to Amazon just to make it easy for you if you're doing some online shopping. So I've got it loaded here. I can definitely trim it down as you can see here, but I'm happy with it. We're gonna go ahead and hit the continue button. Next up, I'm gonna go over here to browse and I'm just gonna start to type in vinyl. Just V-I-N is good enough. And then I'm just gonna go to premium vinyl, looks good to me. And I'm actually gonna add that to my favorites here, bookmark it, just so I can find it much easier because I haven't set anything with my Cricut Joy. All right, so now with the Cricut Joy, I just gotta 
get it close enough to the machine and it's gonna load it in for us. That's one thing I love about it, it's super easy to use. You get it under the feet and it's ready to load. All right, so it's made sure that we had enough material, we have the correct mat and all of that stuff, and it's ready to go. So the way that this machine works as well, we're gonna hit the go right here inside of Cricut Design Space. As this is cutting out, a few things that we're gonna need for our adhesive vinyl projects, a squeegee, transfer tape, our adhesive vinyl, of course, you're gonna need a weeding tool, and we're gonna be able to use this for all of our adhesive vinyl projects. I also want you to keep in mind when it comes to your Cricut Joy projects, is that you can do a lot of paper crafts for making cards. You can do the little candy dumps that we've done, lots and lots of paper crafts. So keep in mind, you can accomplish those as well. All right, so we are done here. It's gonna push it out for us. And then we're just simply gonna hit unload from the computer. And so you can accomplish these as well with your phones as well as an iPad. That's what's really cool about using your Cricut Joy. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this and we're gonna get ready to weed it. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly weed this guy out. Now that I have everything weeded out, we are ready to pick it up with our transfer tape. Take my squeegee, rub it down. Take my handy dandy scissors, and we're gonna trim it away. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take that squeegee, make sure that I have it picked up. You wanna make sure that you have your bottle cleaned and ready to go, so prepped up, if you will, with rubbing alcohol. Make sure to remove any sort of fingerprints or debris. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take two squeegees just to kinda of help me line this up to help hold my bottle. I like the squeegees that have that middle piece. If you guys have been following for a while, you already know the drill. But if you're new here, I love to use the squeegees for a holder as well. So I'm just going to now peel away that backing. Now we are ready to apply. So I'm just gonna go down, I always say like a taco. So we're just gonna go down right here. I like to get the center first and then rub out the sides. If you have any sort of pieces up at the top that are kind of gonna buckle, you just wanna be nice and slow and work those pieces individually one at a time. Next, we're gonna take that squeegee, rub, rub, rub and get it in. It is that easy to personalize your very own water bottle. Now the really cool thing about this design is it comes with multiple designs, but it also comes with the water tracker design for the back with the numbers. I didn't need that piece because my water bottle that I have already has the numbers on the back. But if yours doesn't, this SVG design does come with that as well. Now all we gotta do is grab a corner and peel. And there you guys have it, so much fun. I'm gonna try to bring this guy in. See if you guys can see it better at this angle here. So stinking cute. And you guys, I'm telling you, the white pops so much better. You may not be able to notice it on camera, but it is definitely so much easier to see and read compared to the darker colors. I've definitely learned that over time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed project number one. For our next design, we're gonna be using this one right here. There is several designs to choose from for this one. So there is multiple of these out of this bundle that you guys could actually create lots of acrylic keychains with. So we're gonna be using this one. As you can see, it comes in multiple layers so you can make these any color that you would like. But for example, I always like to just come down and hit weld because I'm gonna do it one solid color and today I'm choosing a pink. So what we wanna do is change the size of this. I have three inch circles here. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and change my biggest number, which is my width here. I'm gonna change it to 2.75 inter, so it's gonna give me 2.5 high. This guy's completely ready to go. I told you guys, less than 10 minutes, these projects are so easy. We're gonna hit on the mat, we're gonna hit confirm. And so you can see that it's saying the smaller mat, but I don't have it, I have the bigger one. So I'm gonna tell it that I'm actually using a longer material, so it'll just swap out that mat for me. So now what I'm gonna do is just load my material on here. Once again, I could trim that down, but I'm not concerned at all. I just have it. This is another one that's perfect for your scrap pieces. But like I said, I've just got this on here and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. 
As you can see, we bookmarked it last time, so we have the premium vinyl ready to go. We're gonna load this guy in here and cut it out. While this guy is cutting out, the materials you're gonna need for this is acrylic keychains. If you haven't recently seen our Timu haul, we've got some supplies as well as some blanks, and one of those was some acrylic blanks. They have white ones also, uh, but you guys could grab these on Amazon, Etsy, all over the place, and maybe some keychain hardware. So I've got this guy. You wanna make sure it's nice and clean, and any sort of clear coating is off. Your squeegee, your adhesive vinyl, like I said, and we are gonna be ready to put this together. If you guys can see, I'm losing a few pieces here and there. It's kind of cut and weird. So at that point, what I like to do is take out my blade. We're gonna push it in a few times. And as you can see on the end of that blade, we have debris stuck. So if you're ever having issues, double check that there's not any sort of debris stuck on the end. Now that I have everything weeded out, I'm gonna take a little piece of that transfer tape. We're gonna take our squeegee and pick it up. So this is definitely one of those projects that takes less than 10 minutes. If you're wanting an easy craft to do with the kids or the fact that you need to make somebody a last minute gift, this one is for you. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just light it up here on my keychain, getting it nice and centered, rub it down. Acrylic keychains is one of the most easiest projects to do. Definitely very beginner friendly right out of the gates. So we're just gonna grab this and peel. And there you guys have it. It is so cute, I love it. Another thing that you could do is add some acrylic paint or maybe some chalk paint on the back, some brush strokes, and that's gonna help that pop even better. Another thing to mention is I'm actually using removable adhesive vinyl. Removable adhesive vinyl becomes permanent over time. I like it because it is in matte instead of glossy. I've made acrylic keychains with them so many times and they are gonna last for years to come. Next project is super duper easy and it's amazing to make with your Cricut Joy car decals. Decals that you can put on your laptop, phone cases. So it's similar to doing the same thing to the keychains here, but these you're gonna be able to pass out to friends and family, or maybe you're gonna sell them or for yourself to just stick them wherever you would like. So this one right here is included in that bundle. There is actually several of these baby items to choose from. You could put on onesies and all of those. We actually have another one from this bundle. We're gonna do an, another project later on. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But for this one here, we're gonna be doing a car decal. Usually around a four by four is pretty good depending if you want to have it much bigger then you may want to make that with a bigger machine like your Cricut um, Explorer or Maker. So we're going to do this guy. I'm going to do the four inches. So I'm just once again I'm going to go to my bigger number here. We're going to hit four and then enter and that's going to give me the 3.87. This guy's ready to go. Figure out what color you want to do. Once again like a white would pop really well on a tinted window. People use holographics, colors, whatever you want to do but the white really really pops on tint but we're gonna do this till here today I'm trying to use a variety of colors to switch it up with you guys today all right so we're gonna go ahead and click make it we're going to say on the mat and continue same thing I'm just gonna choose that bigger material we're gonna hit continue you're gonna see our bookmark here in a minute but in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and load this guy on the mat we're gonna choose that premium vinyl now that this guy is clean, we should definitely be good to go. If it continues to do that, then it's probably time for a fresh blade. I have to be honest with you guys. Since I have owned this Cricut Joy, I don't think I've changed the blade once. So we probably should be doing that pretty soon. All right, so we're gonna do the same as we have done. We're just gonna hit go. We're gonna cut this guy out and finish it up. When it comes to making car decals, it's as simple as needing your adhesive vinyl, your transfer tape, as well as your weeding tool and a squeegee. So it's that easy. And then you're gonna be able to, like I said, store these for later and then apply them on whatever you would like. Now that we're done, we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna come over here and click on the upload. Get this guy out of here. So I can definitely see it cut much better that round. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Once again, it's as simple as weeding this design out. So I'm just gonna quickly go through here and weed it.
We're gonna take our adhesive vinyl here. Then we're gonna take our squeegee, rub that guy down just like we normally would. Take our scissors here and trim it away. Now for me, I have a baby shower coming up with my cousin, so I'm going to include this in her basket of goodies. So it's as simple as throwing this in here and making things a little bit more special and kind of personalized, if you will. So all I have to do to make this nice and perfect, I'm actually gonna grab another pair of scissors. I feel like these are okay for small jobs, but when it comes for something big and I want perfect cuts, I'm gonna come in with my scissors here, and then you're just going to trim off any sort of excess, keeping it nice and square here. And then we're just gonna take off any of that excess, and it's going to be perfect like this. So as you guys can see here, just absolutely perfect. Now, whenever you give this to somebody, or maybe you're gonna sell these, all they simply have to do, once you make sure you really, really burnish that in there with the squeegee, they should be able to simply peel it away like this without the pieces sticking. So you wanna make sure before you send it on its way, you've really rubbed that down first, and then you're going to just put this in their basket, sell it, put it in a bag, you do whatever you wanna do with your car decal. Project number four is coffee mugs. This guy right here is actually from the Dollar Tree. It is super, super cute, as you can see. Love it, it's one of my favorites. Or you can go with a plain white coffee mug. There's colors to choose from there. You could order them wherever you would like. But today we're gonna be making this adorable one here. And so I'm gonna be using a gold adhesive vinyl, as you can see here. And I think it's gonna pop off of here really cute with this design. This one says work, save, travel, repeat. I love it. And it's also in different pieces if you wanted to to change these individual you could do so but once again I'm gonna go ahead and hit weld so for this one I'm gonna measure and see about how high we're gonna go so I'm just gonna grab that there and I'm thinking about two and a half all right so we're gonna go ahead and go in here we're gonna go up to our height and we're gonna put 2.5 enter and then it's 2.3 wide. So let's check that out really quick. So I'm actually gonna bring that to the three. So I'm gonna stretch this guy out just a little bit like I showed you before without um, messing that up. I'm gonna do 2.8, I think that's gonna be good. Now remember when you're working with designs like this, it could fail. When you bring a design really, really small, it's sometimes it's really hard for the Cricut to get those pieces, especially if you've got cursive. So we're about to find out what we got. So we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. Same thing, we're gonna click on the mat. Now, if you wanted to choose your longer mat, you could do it on this page here, if that's something that you're more um, like comfortable with, if you will. We're gonna hit confirm load this guy here. We're gonna hit continue, and then we're gonna choose our premium vinyl. We are ready to load it once again. We're just gonna load it in there and let it cut it out. All right, so we are done. We're gonna click the unload. Flip it over and real quickly weed it out. Now that I have everything weeded out, same thing. And I'm actually using the same transfer tape that I used on my acrylic keychain. So we're going to rub this guy down so we can pick it up. And I think this gold is gonna look amazing. So we're gonna flip it over and peel. We're gonna grab our cup here. Now, once again, when it comes to cups, whatever side you hold, you wanna put it on that side. So if you hold it in your left, you'd want it here, same thing, right? So for me, I actually hold mine the right, so I'm putting it on this side here. So I'm gonna bring this up so hopefully you guys can see at the same time. I'm just gonna try to center this guy up and I'm just gonna work one little area at a time because it is kind of like a curved surface. I'm just being real slow getting that guy down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my squeegee here and rub these pieces in. I don't know what I have done. For some weird reason, I've done these cups so many times, but my adhesive vinyl does not want to stick to it. So I'm moving on to a regular white cup and I'm gonna see if I have the same issue. And it's gonna pop off the white so much better anyways. So we're gonna get this going here, center, and then work our way out. So we're just going to rub, rub, rub. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take it at an angle and peel. I have no idea why it did not want to stick. Now I have recently switched up 
my adhesive vinyl and I'm using the Oracle 631 so I don't know if that has something to do with it. It's stuck on here nicely or if I need to wash this with some soap water. I think that's what I honestly need to do is take these to the sink and wash them with some dish soap um, to really remove any sort of oils. Um, I definitely think that's my problem. But this on that white has popped amazing. I still love it. It came out so, so good. So like I said, at the Dollar Tree, you can grab these cups as well. It's so good, love it. So coffee the cup is number four. Project number five is a super fun one. This is going to be a dog treat container. I actually found this at the Dollar Tree as well. Use whatever jar or container you have. Now with this, there's tons of designs. You could actually do dog bandanas, all sorts of fun things with this one. So I'm gonna use this design that says we'll set for trees. I think it's just super cute. And so now I'm gonna size it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the lid there and figure out about how big I'm thinking. I'm thinking around three and a half wide. Let's just try that really fast. Let's go to our width and do 3.5 enter. That's gonna give me four high. I think that's gonna be pretty good. I think I got enough material here for that. So we're gonna get ready and load this. Now I'm gonna cut this out in purple. So for example, whatever gender your dog is, you could definitely do all sorts of fun colors or you could simply stick with that white and black. This is another one where the white would probably hit off of it better because once you put the cookies inside, it's gonna be harder to see it with those darker colors. So we're gonna do this. We're going to hit make it once again. Now remember all these projects you can accomplish in less than 10 minutes. So we are going to select our mat again, hit confirm. All right, we are ready. We're gonna hit continue and select our material. We're ready to load it, so we are gonna choose we choose, we're gonna load that into the machine and let our machine start to cut it out. Now it's gonna be the same thing with this. You wanna keep in mind this one here sets like so. So I need to make sure I'm putting that in the correct direction. So you're gonna wanna make sure and clean this with some rubbing alcohol or some dish soap just to make sure this area is free of oils and debris. All right, we're done. Again, we're going to unload. I'm gonna flip this off the mat and weed it out. I've got it all weeded out. We've got our transfer tape all cut down and ready to go. So I'm gonna take my squeegee once again to pick this guy up. I think this design is just so, so cute. We're gonna flip it over and peel. So now I'm just making sure once again, I've got the setting in the correct direction, which I do. So mine's gonna set somewhere around there. So I think I'm gonna try to angle it. Something about like that. And then we're just gonna take that squeegee and get it down. Okay. Now we're ready to grab that corner and fill. Yay, so cute. Look at how adorable this is. $1.25 where this could cost you probably 15, 20 bucks, and look at that. So it's set like this, it is so stinking cute, I love it. All right, so now what we need to do is just fill it with our favorite treats. I've got some dog bones here because my daughter's dog comes and she loves these ones. These are the milk bones, um, but my, my pup, he enjoys those, um, the greenies, the ones that are for the dentist where they chew with their teeth. They, I guess they chew them no matter what. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and load these up. So we went from this boring container here to this cute thing here, I love it. I think we could still see the purple on here, but once again, I think with the colors of the bones, it would definitely pop so much more with the white, so definitely keep that in mind. Project number six is signs. You can make so many signs from your kitchen, your bathroom, all sorts of fun signs, but I wanted to show you this one today. It's actually one of those ones that has like an acrylic um, piece here and then the wood with the little beads, so cute. I recently found this at Hobby Lobby on the clearance for $2.24. So make sure you guys are checking places like that out for the clearance. You guys let me know in the comments below, have you guys recently or have you ever found some really good clearance finds at Hobby Lobby or even Michaels? If you have, tell us what your best find is down below. For this project, I'm also gonna be using chalk paint today. I'm gonna to be using my favorite Waverly from Walmart. Once again, you can get this for just a little over a dollar. I've got a little foam brush for this. We're gonna paint one side to help the adhesive vinyl pop because we're gonna cut this out in black. So the design we're using for this one is Kindly Go Away. 
kindly go away. I think it's cute. I think we could hold, hang this like the way that it is on our doors. So say for example, if the baby's sleeping or as the, um, the door wreath, I think it would be really cute as well. You could even put this on a door wreath if you wanted to, because you can still accomplish those big wood round door wreaths by using the word welcome. Because once again, you can use longer pieces similar to this. So let's go ahead and measure this guy out here. So it's thinking here, we know that we can only go like four and a half. So if we did about four and a half, let's see about how long here. Let's see, we did four. I'm gonna say four and a quarter is as high as we can go. So let's try that really quick. So we're gonna go to our height. We're gonna put 4.25. Let's see what that gives me. That's gonna give me 8.22, right? So almost there. And I say, for example, I'm wanting it to the 10 inches and I think I've got enough material here for that 10 inches. I do. What I'm gonna do like we did before with the water bottle is I'm actually gonna stretch this out, making sure I'm keeping those portions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, that 10 inches. All right, so I've got 4.25. Now let me make sure I have enough material because I'd already trimmed this down. If not, I'm gonna cut me a new piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy loaded on here, double checking, and it is. It's perfect because I have four and a half to work with, so we're ready. So we're gonna go over here and hit make it. We're gonna load it in here just as we have before and cut it up. While this is cutting out, chalk paint dries really, really fast. So this is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and paint the backside of your sign if that's something you're going to do. So I'm gonna flip this guy over. I've got my squeegee. I've actually got a scrap piece of the backing of a piece of vinyl to hold this here. I'm gonna take my paint, shake it up, and paint it. So for this, you wanna do like a dry brush motion, if you will. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this. I've got that parchment paper underneath here. And so what I'm gonna do is just kind of go over it like this. So it's a little bit messy. This is called like a dry brush method. If it's something else and I'm not calling it right, y'all call me out for it in the comments below. We can always flip it over double check our work and see how it looks. I think that looks great. So now I'm just gonna leave it like this and let it dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna flip this guy over and lead it out. Take our transfer tape. Trim down. And squeegee. All right, we're gonna remove the back. There we go. And then we're gonna bring this guy forward. I think we're dry enough for us to proceed forward, so I'm just gonna flip it over, and we're gonna be ready to put it down. So I'm just gonna center this up. I think right about there it looks great. So we're gonna take our squeegee and rub it down. And then we're gonna grab that corner and peel. And there you have it, how cute is that? I love it, $2 and what was it, 25 cent fine? I've been trying to figure out what I was gonna do with this and I really love it, because once again, to put it as a door hanger, doorknob, or even just have it in the house hanging, I love it, so cute. You guys let me know in the comments below, did you guys realize that you can do projects like this with your Cricut Joy? And also let me know if this is a project that you plan on recreating. Moving on to our HTV projects. For our next project here, we're gonna be doing a baby bib and we're gonna be using this Caesar Sparkle in pink. If you guys have not tried Caesar Sparkle, it's one of my favorites. It's a glitter HTV, but with no texture. Perfect for babies. So we're gonna be using this one here. We're gonna be using this design here that says cute and cuddly with a cactus adorable and then we've just got a little mini iron here so this is perfect for your small irons you can use your home irons crooked easy press whatever you got um, this one right here is actually from HTV Ron I'll have it linked below so let's go ahead and get ready to go on this so for this let's get our tape measure and figure out about how big we want to go all right here let's see if we did 4.25 wide just because paying attention to the width of this piece here let's try that so let's do 4.225 enter that's going to give us almost five high 
So I think I'm completely happy with that. We're gonna go ahead and click make it. We're gonna choose on the mat, choose our bigger mat, confirm. For this one here, we're gonna cut it four and a half by five and a half. So we're just gonna get it up here and get four and a half. All right, rotate it. You always wanna start with that lower number and then we're gonna trim it to five and a half and get this excess out of the way. Now, a few things that you need to do when it comes to your HTV projects is make sure that you turn your mirror on. You want to place the glossy side down on the mat. So we're gonna do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and continue so we can get ready to choose our material. We're gonna go back into browse. I'm gonna type in iron, enter. We're gonna choose everyday iron on. I'm gonna save that to my bookmarks as well. We're gonna hit done and we're ready to go. So we're just simply gonna load it. While that's cutting out, we're gonna also be able to prep up our bib. I'm using the Cricut mat today. I'm using the eight by nine. You could use whatever mat that you have on hand. You can also just simply use a dish towel. Next, what we wanna do is you wanna turn your iron on. I actually have it on the second setting here by just double clicking that there. And then I'm just gonna rub this guy down, just like you were ironing your clothes. This is going to remove any sort of moisture and then smooth out any sort of wrinkles. Now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit the unload. Get this guy out of here, take it off the mat, and I'm gonna quickly weed it out. We are ready here, so we're just simply going to get our design down on the center of our bib. This would make a perfect last minute baby shower gift in case you guys are running late on a gift and need a quick last minute 10 minute gift idea using your Cricut Joy, this is it. All right, so I'm just gonna take my mini easy press here and I'm just gonna keep constant motion. You don't wanna stay in one spot because that's how you're gonna get those marks. You may have seen it quickly try to do that. As long as you keep this guy going, it's not gonna do that. To so just go, go, go with it for around 30 seconds or so. So we're just gonna go around this. And then once I'm happy with it, I think that looks good. We can stop and check it. With this material, make sure you check your settings um, with what material you're using. This one is a hot or warm pill, so we're just gonna go ahead and peel. And it is absolutely perfect. So as you guys can see, how cute is that Caesar sparkle off of here? And that pink just matches perfectly with this pink outline here. When it comes to baby bibs, you can grab these locally. Once again, places like Target, Walmart, all sorts of different places, even Amazon. So there you guys have it. It came out so cute. I'm gonna bring it up here just to see if you guys can see it a little bit better there. Great gift for anybody that has a baby. This would even be great for a first birthday party too. This would be so, so cute. Next up is this little zipper bag. I love making zipper bags. So many different ideas when it comes to these guys. So this one in particular, I actually found it at the Dollar Tree. I'll show you guys here. It is a two-toned, so I'm gonna be working on this part of the canvas. And then I'm gonna be using this mustard yellow here. I love it. So what I need to do, same thing, is kind of measure here. I know that I wanna work within this area here. So I'm thinking around two and a half high and around five by five. So let's do this. So let's do five by five. I'm just gonna use my arrows here. We're gonna do the five by five, and then we are gonna do, what did I say, 2.5? Let's try to see if we can get that there. Perfect, I'm gonna double check that 2.5 because I have already forgot. Let's see, perfect. Okay, looks good. So you guys see how I just kind of did that on my own. As long as it doesn't look distorted, we're good. This project is ready. So we're gonna hit make it. And then we are gonna choose on the mat once again, choose a long mat, confirm, and then I'm gonna trim this guy down. So I need to cut this guy. I'm probably gonna do six by three. Just to be safe, we wanna make sure we turn on that mirror. I'm gonna trim it down. Once again, I have the mirror on. I've got my glossy side down. I'm gonna choose the everyday iron on, and then we're just simply gonna load it and cut it out. To prep this guy up, you wanna pull off any sort of tags that you have. One thing that I feel with this is I feel like it is plastic. I've actually used an iron on material like this before and it melted right through it. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down to number one, just to be safe. 
Another thing that you can do to protect this is we're going to put a piece of parchment on the inside to keep it from melting together. And then I'm gonna put a piece on top to protect it from melting once again, inside and out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a pair of scissors here, trim this guy down. I think I could trim just a little bit off of here and get it to fit in there perfect. There we go. Just make sure everything is smoothed out. So whenever we go to apply the iron on here, I don't wanna put direct contact, so I'm gonna use that parchment. And I'll actually use that to kind of iron everything and just smooth it all out. Perfect. So now this guy is prepped up and ready to go. So we're going to set it aside and get ready to weed. We've got it weeded out. We are ready. So I'm just gonna get this guy right here, just figuring out where I want it to go. Get our parchment paper to protect it. And then we're just gonna go on here. Same thing, keeping that constant motion on it, especially when it comes to something like this. And we're gonna do the same thing for where it's around 30 seconds. So the big thing whenever it comes to something that's plasticky too is you really should protect in between your um, heat pad as well because things can get stuck. But because I have that parchment paper in between, I'm good to go. Um, but if you didn't, you definitely want to do so. I was at a show one time and we were using a heat press and we actually melted all the way through somebody's tote bag. So like I said, ask me how I know. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to peel. Once again, this is Caesar's Easy Weed, so I know that it is a warm or hot peel, so we're just gonna go ahead and peel. I love that we are making projects, number one, with our baby iron here and our Cricut Joy. These are also perfect items to make while you're traveling, camping, um, also maybe even at your fair, like if you're at a state fair or you're doing like those, uh, what do they call it? It's like the little booths and you can sell right there on hand because you can personalize with people's names and stuff right away. All right, so here you go. You can see it looks perfect. I'm gonna let it really completely cool down before I pull that parchment out just to be safe but nothing seems or appears to be melted, and I love the color combo. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys like this color combo. Project number nine is a wine bag. This is gonna be perfect whether you are going for a housewarming gift or Christmas, last minute, you're ready to go. So we are gonna be making this little wine bag here, and I think it's so cute with this saying. It says, you're lucky I didn't keep this for myself. Too cute. Once again, raise your hands if you guys have a problem with making something from point A to point B. Let me tell you, one time my sister-in-law bought scratchers for um, a friend's kid that was turning 18. She scratched them before she could make it to the birthday party. I know, I think we're all guilty of things like that. All right, so what we're gonna do here is very simple. We're gonna size it out. So I'm gonna do the same thing and figure out. So I'm gonna stick with that. We're gonna do four inches wide. So let's see how high that gets us. So let's try that, four inches high. And that's gonna give us 6.6. .6. Hey, I'm happy with it. One thing you wanna keep in mind when you're working with tote bags, well, tote bags or wine bags, is keeping an eye on that bottom because when you have the wine bottle in there, it can cut off that lower part. So we're good to go on that. We're ready. Once again, last minute out the door. 10 minutes is all we have. We're good. We're gonna hit map. We're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. And then I'm going to mirror this. So I need to cut this four and a half by, I'm gonna say seven and a quarter to be safe. I'm that type of person. I could probably, you should get away with seven, but I am that person that goes the extra mile because if you accidentally mess up, you're wasting it all. I'd rather waste a tiny bit. Raise your hand down below too if, you, if you're just as guilty. <laughs> all right, here we go. So let's do four and a half by seven and a quarter. I'm using my big roll. So if you guys are new here, I like to buy my black and white and bigger rolls. Um, and then I could get my colors in the smaller sheets. All right, and you also wanna always cut the smaller number big. So we're gonna do that. All right, and then we are gonna do the seven and a quarter. Same thing, we're going to load it on the mat. Choose our material, load it in the machine, and let it cut it out. So while we're working on that, we're gonna prep up our wine bag. For this, I'm just kind of tucking in the bottom to make sure we can avoid all of those creases and everything. So we're gonna take our little mini iron here. I'm actually gonna bump it back up to the two. I don't have to worry about any sort of plastic or anything with this. This is just canvas. I actually found these on Amazon. I got them in bulk over there. So if you're trying to make several of these, 
um, as a gift. You want to keep them on hand for those last minute late gifts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you may want to snag these. I'll have them, like I said, everything I'm using today is linked below. So we're just going to go ahead and smooth that guy out, just as we have done before. Let that cut it out. I'm going to weed it, and we're going to be right back. I'm going to go ahead and hit that unload, get this guy off here. Now that I have this cut out, we're fixing to get ready to weed it, but I want to give you guys a pro tip. I know you guys love those, right? So if you guys are having a problem weeding out and you feel a little bit more struggle, you'll definitely notice this more in the winter months when your HTV is cold. You may see it much easier when it's warmer. So all you have to do is heat up. So for example, I'm just heating up my tote bag because it's what's here. Or you can simply heat up your pad if that's where you were going to do it. But since I already have this on top, you're just simply going to heat it up. If you had your bigger easy press, just put it down for a second all right so we're going to do that with the glossy side don't stick it this way it's going to get stuck you're going to stick it with that glossy side down i've got my hand on here and i'm just heating this guy up and what this is going to do is help me weed even faster so i'm just going to grab a corner here and then we're just going to weed and you'll notice that it just weeds so much faster it's crazy so if you guys are ever struggling because sometimes some brands don't weed the easiest so this is caesar easy weed so it's supposed to weed easy right but if you guys are purchasing stuff like for example off of amazon and all that you may notice you struggle a little bit more so definitely try out that tip Pro tip number two, whenever it comes to weeding out these small pieces here, grab your little lint roller because you can pop those little pieces to get it to let go right there on your lint roller to speed it up. I'm telling y'all, I love this hack as well just because sometimes it's not like adhesive vinyl where you can stick it on top of each other because these pieces are not sticky. The lint roller will be your best friend. We are ready, so we are going to pop this guy down right here, keeping it nice and high because once again, I wanna keep in mind for the bottom of the bag for uh, where my wine bottle is going to sit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this guy all the way down, keeping it going constant motion. I am working with canvas, so I don't have to worry about sticking like I did with the parchment paper, so I don't need anything in between. That is a question I get all of the time. Do you need to put parchment paper in between? No, because this little plastic here is our protective barrier. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and do that. I think that looks good to me. Once again, this is a hot pill, so I'm just gonna grab it and pill. This looks amazing. We made this guy right here with our Cricut Joy and our Mini Iron. I'm telling you, so many projects you guys may not realize you guys can create with that Cricut Joy. For our last project, but certainly not least, this is gonna be our biggest project. So I wanted to show you guys that you can create bigger projects by just cutting it in multiple pieces. So for example, a design like this is absolutely perfect because you can see I've got it in three pieces. It actually was in multiple pieces, so you could have the other you know, colors and stuff. But what I did was I just ungrouped it and selected each layer individual, so that way I have these pieces to cut out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. So now what I can do is I can actually grab this and figure out how big I want it to be. Remember the tote bag here, so I want to be careful there. So let's just say, for example, I want it eight and a half by eight and a half. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and put eight, 8.5 enter. So now let's see what we have. So if you click on these individual, we have two points. I believe it's a six, five or eight, five. Y'all, I have to get, I had to get glasses. They're on the way. So we have that. I have 2.75 and then we have 2.84 and then the eight. We can do that length. It's perfect. It's gonna fit on the mat and everything. So now whenever we go to click on make it, so we're gonna be cutting this in three pieces. So we're gonna choose on the mat. It's already chose the bigger mat for us. We're gonna hit confirm. So what I need to do is I need to cut these down. For example, I'm gonna do three and a quarter by nine. Let me double check on each one of these. Three and a quarter by nine, three and a quarter by nine. I'm just doing them all the exact same just to keep it nice and easy. This project is still gonna be less than 10 minutes. So if you're looking for a last minute gift to get out the door, you are still going to be able to accomplish this, even though we are gonna do it, cutting it out in three different mats. Now keep in mind, if you were using the Cricut Smart Materials, you could do this one long cut. So you could just do Cricut Smart Materials and it would cut it in one long length. So definitely keep that in mind. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna do it by nine. So I'm gonna repeat this all the way across. 
Now all I simply have to do is make sure each layer is mirrored. So I went by and I've mirrored all three layers. We're gonna hit continue. I'm gonna choose that everyday iron on. We're gonna load it on the mat one by one. But like I said, if you guys are using that smart materials, you guys are gonna be able to just do this in one long cut. So we're just gonna do this. And I promise you, especially with this design, it's not gonna take no time at all. So we've got that. We're gonna load our first mat, cut it out, and then we'll weed that one and keep loading each piece. In the meantime, we're gonna prep our tote bag here. I'm gonna continue to use, use my same exact little mini iron just to kind of show you guys that you can accomplish that with this. We're gonna hit go here. And so I'm just gonna make sure I'm pulling out any sort of moisture and just smoothing everything down. We're gonna go ahead and unload that first mat here. Get that off of here. And then we are gonna load the next. Now, one thing you can do if you're gonna be cutting these all in the same, we're gonna go ahead and turn on Remember Material Settings. We're gonna load our next mat. In the meantime, I'm gonna start weeding this one out. Now that I have everything weeded out, cut out, lined up, and in place, as long as nothing is overlapping each other, I should be able to just get all of this down at one time. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom. I don't wanna go over everything. That's too much for the iron to try to handle. So we're just gonna start on one end from each design and work our way up. Now I don't need to peel. I'm just gonna wait. So once I get one done, I'm just gonna move up to the next. All right, so I think I've got everything. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. So as you guys can see here, we have accomplished such a big project with a Cricut Joy and our Mini. Now, if something needs to be restuck, like I can see a little piece here, I can simply just take that same piece, get it back down. Whoops, I almost bent that. I did bend that. We're gonna smooth it out and we're just gonna go back down, or you could cover it with a piece of parchment paper. So if you go to peel it up and it's not sticking, just get that iron back down there for a few more seconds, and then we're just gonna pop that guy back up, and there you have it. Can you guys believe that we can do really big projects with this guy? And it did not take a long time. I simply was able to take the three separate pieces. Now, obviously if it was one solid design, you'd need to cut things in half. But when it's layers like this, you can still accomplish it. And it did not take more than 10 minutes to pull something like this off. Last minute gift, I was able to just quickly pull this off with my Cricut Joy. I could take this guy once again camping to town, whether I'm doing like a little boutique or booth or something like that as well. I could take it to work if you're a teacher. I love having my Cricut Joy and there's just so much more you could do. Things that I didn't mention too that you could do is Cricut Infusible Ink. You could do um, projects with the pins. There's infusible ink pins, gel pins, you name it. There's just so much stuff that you guys can accomplish with this guy. So I'm gonna bring this guy up so you guys can see a little bit of a better view there to see how awesome this came out. I don't know what it is, but when it comes to the canvas tote bags, I really love the black HTV on it. I just think it looks gorgeous and really pops. So there you have it. There is 10 Cricut Joy projects in less than 10 minutes. I know the whole thing took longer than 10 minutes, but each project should take you less than 10 minutes to accomplish so you guys can get those last minute gifts out the door. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us here today. And also thanks to you guys that have actually made it all the way to the end. We truly appreciate it. If you guys watch our videos all the way to the end, this is a test for you today. I simply want you guys to write the word milk. Let's go off our tote bag here. Write the word milk. I'm gonna know if you guys are watching this all the way to the end. So write in the comments below and then people are gonna be like, what's this milk about? They're gonna think you're winning something. So let's have some fun down there and just simply write the word milk. And I'll know that you guys are watching me all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. If you guys are not new here, thank you guys so much for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button as well that notification bell so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials.